The wife of a 65-year-old man who was shot and killed last week in Forest Township is charged with open murder. A Genesee County prosecutor says Diane Arellano allegedly shot Michael Arellano in the chest and head. Michael Arellano was found dead by his stepson around 8.30 p.m. Friday at his home in the 9,000 block of Kristen Road. A fourth man is charged in the February 25th beating death of Gregory Gross. He's behind bars. At least two people are dead after a plane hits three houses in northern Indiana. You can see the private plane lodged in one of the homes in South Bend after crashing Sunday. A Federal Aviation Administration spokesman says there were four people on board and two died. We start this morning with breaking news out of Flint, where police say a man is dead after being chased through an apartment complex. Officials say a shooting happened around midnight at Lapeer Garden Apartments that's located on the 2300 block of Lapeer Road near Dort Highway. Flint police are not releasing the name of the victim at this time, but say early investigations show that he may have been running through the complex when he was shot and killed. Community members in Genesee County's Forest Township remain uneasy after a 65 year old man was found dead inside his home Friday. Investigators are still piecing together the details as nearby residents remain tight lipped. Exciting night for Wings fans, gotta tell you. Thanks so much, Eric. Also ahead, how the struggling city of Detroit plans to balance its budget, a billion dollar art collection on the auction block. Folks in Bay City this weekend celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Bay City held its 59th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade and our own Bill Harris served as parade judge. The annual parade has marched through the streets since 1955. While it was about 40 degrees warmer last year, there was excellent turnout despite the nagging cold wind. And Jason, is it going to let up? <laughs> you are a funny comedian this morning, Brittany. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, we're still stuck in this wind. Welcome back, everyone. Good news on the jobs front. Thousands of new jobs expected in an unexpected industry. That tops our look at consumer news this morning. You might not expect to find many jobs in the space industry these days, but a new study reveals that thousands of new jobs are on the way cities across the nation. Welcome back everyone. I'm joined this morning by Danielle Ward. You are a local Flint based author yes. and you just came out with a book yesterday. Yesterday. And you're joining us this morning um, and tell us the title of the book. The Danielle. title of the book is Warning Signs, What Every Woman Should Know and it's a dating guide. It's a dating guide and you said that this comes from personal experience. It does. It started with a college friend of mine. We just went. A big announcement is expected later today concerning a major airlines merger that could have an impact right here at home. American Airlines and U.S. Airways have agreed to merge and create the world's biggest airline. According to sources familiar with the deal, the boards of both companies approved the merger last night. An official announcement will come this morning. The new carrier would keep the American Airlines name. Here at home, of the two, American is the only one with flights out of Bishop Airport in Flint. It flies to Chicago. It's unclear whether local flights could be impacted by the merger.